Loving how you wind up for me tonight is all on me my shop the place for me Okay, now let's say if your phone is not really doing good and experiencing some sort of issues may be some kind of a lag or heating issues or battery performance issues, the best solution to overcome these issues and better the performance is of course the factory reset. However, this becomes the last resort because it is painstaking. We need to back up the data, making sure that all the accounts on the phone are synced and backed up. But then performing a factory reset will make the phone brand new. Still, we don't really feel like doing this because of this cumbersome process. With that being said, we do have another option to better the performance of the device without much of a hassle. The results might not be as good as the results you could get by doing a factory reset, but definitely it will help improve the performance or overcome the issues you are facing. Now before I tell you what exactly I'm talking about, if you appreciate the content on this channel, do smash that subscribe button and leave a like for this video. Now let's go ahead, let me open settings, let's go to general management. Here we have an option to reset the phone. When we tap on reset, we've got few options here. You see this factory data reset option here. It says reset your phone to its factory default settings. This will erase all the data, including files and downloaded apps. This is something which we don't really feel like doing. Now, right about this, we have got all these options here. Reset all settings, reset network settings, reset accessibility settings. Of course, you can do only network reset or accessibility reset, but the best option is reset all settings. Let's tap on this. This will reset all the settings on your phone except security settings, language settings, accounts, personal data, settings for downloaded apps. So all these will remain as it is on your phone when we reset the phone using this particular option. By doing this, all the settings on your phone will be reset to its default settings. For example, it could be volume settings, home screen settings, lock screen settings, or any sort of settings that you have on your phone will go back to default like the settings you get when the phone is out of the box. This will keep all your data in the gallery, my files or it could be contacts or any sort of data will remain on your phone and you don't really have to back up anything here. Now by doing this, I was able to get rid of some of the issues on my phone. Once I had an issue with the speaker volume after a security patch update, I did this reset and the issue got resolved. Likewise, in the past few years, I have done this many times and the phone did perform better in terms of battery and getting rid of lags, etc. Now, this is something you should keep in mind before going ahead with the factory reset option. If the issues on your phone is not resolved despite doing this reset, that is when I suggest you to go for a factory reset. I hope this would help you guys. If you are having any issues, do try it out and let me know if there is any improvements there. That's all I want to share in this video. If you love watching contents on Samsung Galaxy phones, Android applications, Galaxy watches and anything related to technology, make sure to subscribe and become a part of Apex community. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye. My shop the place for me. Yeah, yeah. She just want to highlight. Ooh.